Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is a spherical video demoing a kind of spherical um, stabilization technique. So I'm walking around the room and I'm rotating the camera, um, but somehow the video that you're seeing is not really moving very much. There's something strange going on with the perspective maybe, um, but certainly it's not rotating as much as it would be if you look at the raw footage. Um, and so if I just sort of leave it roughly in the same place but move it around a little bit, is what I'm doing right now, then not a lot really changes at all. Um, so it's somehow stabilizing the camera on a small scale, and on a large scale it's doing something strange with uh, perspective. So what's going on here? Um, so I've got these three markers on the wall. There's a red marker over here, and a green marker over here, and a blue marker over here, and these three markers are not moving. So um, every frame of the video, this is a post-process um, after the video is taken, every frame um, I search in all of the pixels of the frame and I find the colors or uh, the pixels which are closest to the red color, the green color, and the blue color, and I move those positions um, to the same places as they were uh, in the first frame of the video. Um, and so you can use Mobius transformations to do this. Um, one of the features of Mobius transformations is there's a unique Mobius transformation that takes uh, three distinct points to three distinct points. So I just move those three colors uh, to the places where they were on the first frame of the video. Um, and I should say, I mean, because I'm just doing this very simple thing, just finding the color that's closest, um, the video will jitter around a little bit because, um, you know, sometimes one corner of the red uh, square is the closest and sometimes it's the other one. So there'll be a little bit of jitter uh, frame by frame. Uh, if you're going to do this for real, then you should do something with computer vision, or maybe you have some sort of uh, technology that tracks the position of the camera relative to the, the points that you want to have fixed in space. Um, but yeah, so um, on a large scale, it does this strange perspective uh, thing. So this is maybe similar to the dolly zoom effect uh, in flat video. Um, so this is the effect where you, you're, you're making a movie of somebody and you simultaneously uh, roll the camera towards uh, the subject on a dolly whilst zooming outwards. And the effect that this has is that the, the, the person you're filming doesn't really seem to change uh, size, but there's this very strange unsettling perspective effect that happens. Um, and it's the same sort of thing here. There are things that aren't really changing as I move around from one side of the room to the other. And then there are things that are definitely changing. The sort of perspective is changing. As I move, you can see different angles on the lights or the sculptures or the chandelier. Um, so it's an interesting and perhaps unsettling effect. So large scale, you have this strange perspective effect. Small scale, again, if you just move a little bit in place, it's sort of a stabilization effect. Um, maybe it's useful. Uh, so this is a spherical stabilization effect. Thanks for watching.